there's this growing narrative that the officials are costing the Cleveland Cavaliers the series. Everybody just keeps mentioning how they blew calls in game one, etc., etc. And while calls, more calls have gone go to state ways in certain regards, that block charge call, it was actually the right call. And on top of that, the Cavs were only up two. Everybody's saying, well, if Cavs had 36 seconds, up two, maybe they could score again, make it a two possession game. You don't know that. Maybe they turn the ball over and Steph Curry comes down, hits a three and one. Like, you, you don't know what could happen or whatever. Bottom line is, referees didn't cost them the game, guys. Like, you, they had, the Warriors and the Cavs had the same opportunity. You would say the Cavs had more opportunities. You could, uh, you could argue that Cavs had a, the same chances, if not more chances, because George Hill missed a critical free throw down the stretch. He, he hit one, tied the game, missed the other. There, there's a blown opportunity. That's one opportunity. Opportunity two. J.R. Smith get, grabs the offensive rebound. He could A, he could put the ball back up, or B, he could call timeout. He didn't do either. So, matter of fact, that's that's two. That's three opportunities, right? Free throws of George Hill, J.R. Smith's offensive rebound, put back, or timeout. Three, third opportunity was the Cleveland Cavaliers got, got it to go to overtime. So, basically, that's about four opportunities. JR could have put the ball back up. JR could have called a timeout. George Hill could have hit both free throws. Overtime, Cavs could have put together another good five minutes of basketball. So, they had opportunities to win the game. It's not like the, the, the one thing that's bothering me a lot is people make it seem as if that play, whether it's the free throw, whether it's the block charge call, whether it's the offensive rebound, they're acting like there wasn't an overtime play. They're acting as if they missed the free throw and it was ball game. Or the block charge call, those two free throws, Durant hits, and that's the ball game. There was other opportunities, guys. The, the game is played for 48 minutes, and if there's overtime, extra five minutes. So the Cavs essentially didn't play the entire game how they're supposed to. Like LeBron came out with a monster effort, but his teammates down the stretch faltered. George Hill shanked that free throw. That was unacceptable. He it was it, it, it barely touched the front rim. Then you got J.R. Smith getting offensive rebound. He doesn't even put the ball back up. He doesn't call a timeout. Tyron Lue doesn't call a timeout. That's unacceptable within itself. J.R. didn't know time to score, but you could argue their whole staff didn't know time to score because nobody called the timeout. So what, what, what else do you want? Okay, now you got overtime. All right, you guys... You had all these plays. You felt like you should have won the game. All right, win the game in overtime. You didn't win the game overtime. Stop complaining about the officials, guys. Like, that's... It could have swayed partially the game, but they they had the same opportunities as the Warriors. So you can't do that. You can't make that up. Like, it's like if the shoe was on the other foot and the Warriors lose game one at home, and let's just say they had an offensive rebound that they shanked. Let's just say they had a timeout they didn't use. Let's just say they had an overtime and they play poorly over time. Nobody will be mentioning this. They'll be like, you have too much talent to lose that kind of game. So you, you have to afford the Cleveland Cavaliers the same respect or the same fairness. Like, hey guys, you, you can't cry about spilled milk because if the shoe is on the other foot, all we will hear about is how much talent they have. It's, it's kind of weird because nobody's saying, well, LeBron James is the, besides Skip Bayless, nobody's saying, oh, LeBron James is your closer. He's this, that, and third. He dropped 51 and he couldn't give you extra five points or 60 or whatever the case is in the overtime you know what i'm saying so that sounds like hate but if you do the Golden state words it sounds like the status quo which is it's just absolutely absolutely funny but overall it's it wasn't an issue with the referees in the overtime or that you got you guys are saying well they the, they called a lot of fouls in the favor of the other Golden state warriors guys i got news flash for you game one Cavaliers shot 22 free throws. Warriors shot 20. Overall in the series, the Cavaliers have shot 48 free throws. Warriors shot 41 free throws. All right. Cavaliers are 36 for 48. Warriors are 32 for 41. Cavaliers are shooting about 75%. Warriors are shooting about 78%. I don't think it's a, a issue with calls. I just feel like the Cavaliers feel like we have to play perfect basketball. We're not hitting our free throws. And we're not getting all these little 50-50 calls. And 
and it feels like you know the war is already too good and we have just so much stacked up against us where they're leaning on getting upset about the officials you at the end of the day everything isn't about the officials play basketball play ball you have the same chances you have the same chances game one nobody mentions this game one they had like 11 point lead in the first half what happened to it? it evaporates all right cool game two they kept it within six kept it within six game two in the third quarter they outscored the warriors by like two points or whatever scored 34 points in the third quarter it's just like you we can't consistently sit here and just make all these excuses for the Cavs why you can't win a game is it the referees is it the team is too good is it LeBron has no help it's like it's only something instead of just saying like this team is better than that team it has to be something else it can't just be simply this team's better than that team even in a game two guys complaining about the officiating Cavs shot 26 free throws Warriors only shot 21 Warriors made 19 of those 21, though. That's the difference. Warriors are hitting their free throws while the Cavs are missing their free throws. But at the end of the day, we, we just can't hang our hats on the officiating. In every series and every basketball game that I've ever seen, we've always felt that officials are blown games, especially the past three years. Officials have come under heavy scrutiny. But at the end of the day, it's not like it was a game seven and this to end the third. Yes, there are certain calls that could have gone away that could have changed the series, but let's 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 talk about the play that could have changed the series. Both teams were afforded the same equal opportunities. Both teams went to overtime. You know what I'm saying? Both teams could have iced games on the line or whatever the case is. Let's let's stop crying about the referees. Because if it's not the referees are against LeBron, it's the Warriors have too many stars. If it's not the Warriors have too many stars, it's LeBron has no help. It's only it's only something. It's not it can't simply just be that the team lost the game. And, you know, the, th the funny thing is, if the war when the war is, or if, if or when the Warriors lose a game in this series, we're not going to hear nothing about officials. We're not going to hear about nothing about nothing. All we're going to hear about is LeBron's greatness. That's all we're going to hear about. But for the Warriors, it's kind of like bittersweet because we hear about their greatness, but eh, the referees did this. We hear about their greatness, but eh, the Cavs had no hope. Like, it's funny. It's really funny. And we need to stop it. Hoops Junction. For Hoops, me Tupla. Like, comment, and subscribe.